Jack Keel, the president of Audi of America. And on behalf of the entire team, uh, thank you very much for joining us. And I have to say, coming from the East Coast, it is always a pleasure to be in Los Angeles. Beautiful restaurant, great food, and absolute pleasure to uh, have you all joining us. So um, clearly, no one wants to hear from a man in a suit when I have a stunning car behind me, so I promise to be brief, sincere, and uh, directly to the point. Now, as you know, the PR colleagues are always putting some line in front of you that you need to promote. So this one is pretty self-evident. One line can change everything. Now, I think they were probably referring to famous speeches, you know, perhaps Martin Luther King, I Have a Dream, or perhaps a famous work of art by Picasso or someone like that. But of course, we all have lines that we inherently remember, and mine specifically refers to this car. Now, as you know about Audi, we have fantastic cars in America, but there's bits and pieces of what I'll call forbidden fruit in Europe. And we're always trying to get these cars over here. Maybe it's a drivetrain, maybe it's a powertrain, maybe it's a body style. And believe me, no one hears from more dealers and more customers on this than me, without a doubt. But this very car here has a fascinating story. It was about 10 years ago, and I think it was Philip Brabeck, our product guy, Mark Del Rosso, I think he's here. And we saw the first generation of this car. We said, it's quite a beautiful car. Let's bring this to America and we can do some business. Uh, of course, there was a German executive on the other side of that equation. And he didn't say Mr. Keo at the time, because I was relatively new. I think he said Mr. Keog or Keoff or something like that. And he said, uh, Mr. Keog, um, uh, this car is certainly ready, but what you need to do is make America ready for this car. And of course, it's one of those lines you're walking away saying, what exactly is that guy talking about? But when you think about Audi 10 years ago, we were selling 70-ish thousand cars. Consumer Reports didn't recommend any of our cars. Our customer satisfaction was 17th or 18th. So we had a little bit of work to do. But I think if you fast forward to today between what the team has done, number one on CSI, Consumer Reports recommends every single one of our cars. And of course, the competition is watching us from above. And uh, on top of that, we're now selling over 200,000 cars in America. So I think the team of Audi of America have done a phenomenal job to make the market ready for this very famous vehicle. I think the second point is, of course, a vehicle you may know is in the marketplace called the A7. At the time, people said, what is this sport backy kind of thing? All you're gonna do is substitute your A6 sedan sales all day. Net, net, you're gonna sell the same amount of cars. Strategy's not gonna work. America really doesn't believe in this thing. And frankly, if you think about it, the year before we launched the A7, we sold 8,100 A6s. Fast forward four years between the A6 and the A7, 32,000 cars. Not only did we sell a ton of A7s, we sold a ton of A6s because people came into our showrooms. You think about the power of the brand, Audi average transaction prices used to be in the mid 30s. The A7 launched at $66,000. Today, the average transaction on A7, $78,000. This Sportback A7 has been a phenomenal success story for Audi. So people ask, what exactly is the formula? I think the formula is classic Audi. First and foremost, make a very cool, very beautiful car. Second, make sure the car has the appropriate packaging so the car makes sense. And make sure it's not a hatchback make sure it's a sport back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm here to do tell you is we are gonna replicate that exact same formula again. So let's take a look. Maybe not the world's best kept secret, but I think the greatest product on the road is gonna be the A5 S5 sport back. So let's take a look. So I don't need to say much, because the formula is simple. The car is beautiful. It's the second biggest segment in the luxury car market in America, over 500,000 cars. We've done a great job with our A4 there, and now we're gonna add the A5 and S5 Sportback. We'll be bringing both of these models. The A5 Sportback, four-cylinder engine, 252 horsepower, S5, all-new V6 twin turbo, 354 horsepower. These cars are gonna wake up a flattening segment, do exactly what Audi does extremely well. So when they say the power of the line, yes, this car has a stunning line. It's also got stunning hips. It's also got a stunning rear. It's a beautiful car, 
but the line that I'll remember, I can promise you, we have made the market ready for this car. So take a deeper look. The team of Mark and Philip and everyone is here. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.